Okay, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. It's currently 1 a.m. and tomorrow is our max out day. For the past two days, I really haven't done anything or left my house or worked out or anything. Been completely sedentary, basically. Um, completely resting, getting ready for tomorrow. I just ate so much food today and I just popped the melatonin, so I'm not waking up to an alarm or anything. I'm waking up on my own. And today, technically today, will be the day. All right, boys, so it is the big day. Um, at Melatonin I took last night, it hit me like a brick wall. I slept like 10 hours. Um, I weighed in this morning at 192, which is the highest I've been in a while. Definitely the highest I've been on this whole program. Um, if you could tell by my face, you could see my diet got a little bit off track. I had a lot of junk food, but I'm not gonna complain about the extra pounds because it may come in handy. So whatever, had a big breakfast this morning. Um, I'm gonna eat it get one more time before I go to the gym. I'm not gonna pick up the camera uh, probably anymore until I get to the gym. I just really wanna be with myself right now and focus. I'm gonna hit the massage gun on my arms and my shoulders and stuff. And I'll show you guys the pre-workout I'm gonna take because for this very special occasion, I will be taking a very special pre-workout. But with all that being said, I'm gonna cut the camera. I'm not gonna pick it up until I feel okay to do so. So here we go. This is the big day, boys. <sighs> All right, you don't know what time it is. Honey, salt, pre-workout. Not gonna film it. You've seen it too many times. Let's just, let's just get to the gym. It's go time, baby. <laughs>
Sleep Attack. That was quite the workout. Um, unfortunately, mission 315 was a failure, but I was able to get 300 for a PR, and then right after that, 305 for the PR. Um, I went from 275 straight to the 315, trying not to waste any energy, and unfortunately, just don't think I had it in me, even if I would have tried any other way, I, I don't think the strength was there, so. Dropped the weight to 300, got it with flying colors, decided to bump it up five more pounds, 305, also got that with uh, pretty pretty easily, so happy with it. I called the bench workout there, and then I went on to my other stuff, but am I discouraged that I didn't hit 315? A little bit. I'm not, I'm still very proud of being able to hit 305, but I'm definitely not satisfied. I still, still want that number. I think that once you hit that number, you know, you're, you're officially, you know, strong guy, so. I still want to hit 315 eventually, but in terms of how my training is going to be going now, um, no small love for a little while at least. Um, the number one thing I want to do is clean up my diet, and by clean up my diet, I mean really, really clean up my diet. S tons of greens, tons of fruit, um, lean meat, not very much red meat. I want to really, really dial in my diet and eat perfectly just to see what will happen to my physique if I do it. I think I'm gonna feel a lot better mentally if I do that. And overall, I just think it's time for me to cut the crap and just only feed my body what it needs. And I think it's gonna benefit me a lot. So that's the number one thing I wanna do is clean up my diet. In terms of training, I want to ease off of the compound movements. Um, I'm gonna be, I guess, kind of like a bodybuilder now. I just wanna do lots of high rep, high intensity workouts. Um, bench press out the window for now. I want to strictly be doing incline movements. I think incline is superior to flat. Everything I'm going to be doing chest wise is going to be incline. I want to grow my chest. Uh, it's been too small for too long. So for the next, I don't know, I want to say four to six weeks, I'm just going to be running strictly incline. And then uh, if my ego ends up getting to me, maybe I'll go try small love one more time, try to get those 10 extra pounds added to my bench. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna, I'll go more in depth into my training styles for the other movements, maybe in another video. I'll go more in depth on my diet, another video once I figure everything out. But for now, um, I hope for you people watching this Road to 315 series with the program can see this program definitely adds weight to your bench. Um, I wasn't crazy when I was saying that before. The last time I ran it, it added 10 to 15 pounds, and then this time I ran it uh, about 20 pounds added to my max. So if you had any doubts on taking the program, hopefully my results show you that you probably should run it if you really want those bench gains. And um, yeah, for everybody who supported me throughout this, thank you so much. Um, 
I just want to let you know the next video that will be coming out is going to be my best video I've ever made. I can guarantee it. I'm going to be working on it until it is 100% perfect. I'm not posting it until I'm 100% satisfied. So all I want to say is if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, turn on post notifications, get ready for that next video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, give me some feedback on what you think about this program if you ran it. And I need to eat some food because I haven't eaten since I've gotten home. So I'll see you guys in the next song. No, don't come back to me. I think I'm better off alone. I'm finding peace with who I am. I learned to never trust a soul. And this is only the beginning.